Good morning, everyone. I'm Ed Bates from Kilworth Chiropractic Clinic. Um, here's today's daily dose, um, which actually follows on from my post the other day on breathing. Um, so the advice today is to try and focus on breathing through your nose. Now, for some of you, that's going to be pretty difficult. But before I give you some advice, let me explain why it is important. And there's actually quite a lot of reasons why you should breathe through your nose. Firstly, your, your nose is lined with tiny little hairs, and it also has a mucous membrane that helps your nose act both as a filter, um, but also as a barrier to stop bugs and debris and stuff working their way right deep into your lungs. Um, secondly, because your nasal passages are smaller, that helps to avoid the overbreathing that we discussed a couple of days ago, um, where your carbon dioxide levels fall too low, and that then hinders and affects how much oxygen is available for your cells. Um, thirdly, um, nose breathing um, helps to warm and moisten the air, which helps the exchange of gas in the lungs. Um, another reason is that breathing through your nose actually stimulates your olfactory nerves. Um, and being a cranial nerve, these nerves um, help stimulate the brain directly. Um, so I can't remember where I read the source, but they, 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 they stated if you breathe through your nose, in a sense, you are only half alive. Um, a final reason um, is also because your nose contains a gas called nitric oxide, um, which apparently has a hugely beneficial effect on your major organs. It, it, for example, it actually helps to lower your blood pressure, um, but also significantly it helps with oxygen uptake. So there's several reasons why we should be doing it. Now, the trouble is with a lot of people, um, one of the major issues or reasons why they say they can't breathe through their nose is because that their noses are always blocked. Well, apparently the reason why they're blocked um, goes back to the overbreathing we talked about, um, which causes blood vessels to become inflamed and also creates and causes more mucus to be produced and secreted. And this then just creates this sort of vicious cycle, you know, with as you breathe through your mouth more, your breathing increases, that creates a greater loss of carbon dioxide and that creates more congestion. That in turn basically creates more overbreathing. So this vicious cycle just carries on. So what can you do? Well, according to Patrick McKeown, who's um, very famous um, for uh, his um, uh, description of the Buteco method. Um, the following is a simple solution. So what you basically do is you sit upright, it's nice and straight. You take a small breath in through your nose. Okay, now if you can't, um, just take a tiny breath in through the corner of your mouth and then you breathe out. So literally it's breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose, and then you pinch your nose with your fingers and literally hold your breath but keeping your mouth closed so no air escapes from here. So literally it's here. Now what you're then gonna do is basically nod your head back and forth. So while you're holding your nose, you're basically gonna keep nodding your head backwards and forwards by while holding your breath. And you basically do that as long as you can until you have to breathe, okay? Once you breathe, then release the nose, keep your mouth shut and then slowly breathe in through your nose. Now, if that hasn't cleared, get your breathing back under control, calm it back down again, and then do the process again. And basically repeat this process as many times as you need to before it clears the nose. Hope that's of use. Um, have a fabulous day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay happy. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.